All right, I'm using my 3D pen, the first time in a long time. I'm hoping I remember how to use this thing. There we go. I think. Well, I guess I haven't. And Time to play with some play. Let's try it now. There we go. I'm just making a guide for my, or a pattern for cutting my wings out. Well, these ha things aren't easy to handle. Probably for young hands, yes. But old hands have a hard time. That hurts. This thing is really handy, though. All right, I put this on paper. Now I gotta see if I can get it off the paper without wrecking it. Surprising how tough this stuff is. Yeah, that works out to be about the right size too. I, I've got a photograph of a woman with her arms outspread and the wings and an eagle right behind her to show how big the wings are. And it works out to just about what I got right here. Okay, I'm uh, making an armature for inside the wing. I ran some clay through the uh, pasta machine. And uh, I'm not sure this is gonna work. I've, this is the first time I ever tried doing this, so it's hit or miss right now.
I got to have something to support the uh, wing. All right, we'll try that. Okay, that didn't work out too bad. This is all an experiment right now because I have never, like I said, never done this before. That is a possible one wing wing position I don't know right now I'm just trying to decide how I'm going to do this Now, I don't know. I'm going to keep playing with it and uh, see what I come up with. <sighs> I'm just trying to arrange the wings to s into a design that uh, will work. I'm not even certain we can even cast this, but I just want to find out if it's going to work. Anyway, I'm going to put another wing back here someplace. And I think what I might do is have a, the body of the eagle coming up out of the uh, base and just the head here. But do it in kind of a real sketchy, not overly detailed detail. It, it just not much detail in it, just dreamlike, like it's kind of a blurry vision. I'm going to do the same with the wings. I don't know. I, I'm just de playing with the design right now. I have no clue what I'm going to do yet. But uh, it looks like it could be interesting if I don't screw it up. And believe me, I've got a good possibility of doing just exactly that. Oh. Going to keep playing with it. I'm not doing a lot of this on camera because it's the same thing I did with the first wing, and it's just uh, not worth watching me do it 500 times. I'm just going to do it maybe one more time. I don't know. I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do. Looks good here, but it doesn't look so good back here. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Maybe put another wing here. Have this all one bird here and its wings. And put the head here. I don't know. Maybe it was a better idea in my mind than it is in reality. 
I'm starting to think what I could do is sort of have a sweeping clay that blends into his body and right into between the wings. Like he's being born out of the bird. Maybe even have the bird up higher. Sort of like a cloud. Hmm. I'd have to do that part first before I put this on here. I like the design. I'd have to do those wings in a kind of like a blurry form. Same with the head of the eagle, which I haven't got on his body, but I also have to try to figure out how I'm going to do those wings. It's not going to be a reality type thing. It's going to be more of a dream like thing. Now, I'm going to put the eagle aside. Yeah, I think I'm going to. What I've done is I put my light down close to my clay so that I can uh, get that clay real soft so I can get this flowing type deal going on. I think this is all doable if I just don't overthink things and I just take it one step at a time. Yeah, that could look good. But I'm just going to have to play it one step at a time. I got to figure out how I'm going to do the uh, different layers of feathers on the this side and on this side. Um, won't have to do it as much on the back of this wing here as I will on this side. So just a matter of working this whole thing out. But I think, I think it could look good if I don't, like I said, overthink it. I think you can see how that'll work out nicely, especially the tail of the uh, eagle. Hmm. I don't want to overdo this right now because I still don't know how the wings are going to be on the back, but I've got to get this position just right. There we go.
Yeah, I think this is going to work. It took a little while to figure this out, but I think I got it. Yeah. I like it. And the figure works out perfectly with it, too. What I might do is just to have the uh, feathers really almost blend into his body. All right, I'm going to pick this up next week. Uh, i got a lot of run, running around to do tomorrow, and uh, I won't be able to get in here. Um, I may have to go to Bozeman. I don't know. Just goes to show you don't give up on something. I think what I'll do is next week is just do a few feathers back here. And then, let's see where's that other wing. I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to blend that wing into the uh, body on this side. Well, that's the idea. I'll see how I feel about it Monday. All right, good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.